Hey guys, Hudson. I want to do a quick follow-up to my fluid head video. Uh, I've had so many people that have run out, bought the fluid head, emailed me just how much they love working with it, how much simpler it is to uh, just get it set up, stay level, you know, get exactly the composition that they want, get level. Um, and I've had a few other people that get a little bit confused about, well, how do I get my camera mounted on this thing? Uh, I don't, you know, I'm not set up for Manfrotto. I don't want to put this plate on every time. Well, there's some simple quick things I have linked in the first video and I'll link in this video again. Also the, the technique for leveling it and what kind of tripod you use or, you know, I'm just going to talk about really fast. So, you know, first with how I mount my camera, I use, you know, an Arca Swiss L bracket. You can get them from Kirk, you know, really right stuff. There's cool Chinese ones on Amazon. Try to get one specific to your camera so you don't have to take it off to get the batteries in and out and use the different uh, ports on your camera. Um, so the way I do that is I take the, arc, the uh, Manfrotto plate that comes with this tripod. You loosen this little, this little lever which kicks in and out and, and clamps this plate. And I basically bolt on a large but light and inexpensive clamp, an Arca Swiss clamp, I just bolt it to that Manfrotto plate with the, with the supplied screw, really easy. Uh, and, I, and I mount it so that it's in the same orientation as the Manfrotto plate. And that works really well if I'm using a long lens with an Arca Swiss rail on the foot. Um, it doesn't work so well with the L bracket because that puts the camera sideways to the head. So the simple solution to that is that I just have a really lightweight, cheap second clamp that I clamp into this clamp. And, and these clamps come with a built-in little dovetail so that they just drop right in. They weigh almost nothing. You clamp it in there and all of a sudden, now when you drop this thing into your head, you, uh, you can set your camera right in it, either horizontal or vertical. And it's as simple as twisting this little knob to lock it in, piece of cake. If I wanna use the long lens foot I just mentioned, you know, it's as simple as kind of pulling that off. I often leave it on my L bracket so that I don't have to worry about it later. Pop that lens off, switch it out. I'm gonna use a, a 300 millimeter F4, the, the newest fun one from Nikon. Uh, and, you know, I just drop that foot in to the single clamp, which is lined up for that. And then I can level the camera just using the collar. And, you know, the nice thing about this head, you know, one of the many nice things is you can move it forward and aft. You know, if you loosen up the, the, the tilt, you can find the point where your lens balances on there and it's not flopping forward or backward. And then if you open up, the, there's only two movements here. There's tilt and there's pan. Now all of a sudden you have basically like a gimbal for wildlife. You know, I can easily track birds in motion and I'll stay level wherever I pan and tilt. It's that simple. If I let go, it's not gonna flop. Really, really nice. So kind of an all-in-one solution, weighs the same or less than a really right stuff BH55 head. You know, if you put this little video handle on there, maybe it weighs a couple ounces more. Nothing substantial. Uh, as far as balancing this thing, as far as getting it level on your tripod, it depends. You know, I tend to use, and I have for a long time, these tripods without a center column. I find center columns kind of keep me from getting low to the ground. They, they, they reduce your stability if you raise them up above the legs. The most stable part of your tripod is right where the legs come together. So when you raise up above on a single uh, leg, you know, that center column, you wind up losing a lot of your stability. So I like a tripod with a 75 millimeter bowl, and then you use this little half bowl adapter with this handle, uh, and this, this head just screws right to that. I have these linked as well, Enduro, that makes the tripod that I like with the bowl makes this same half bowl adapter. I have this Loctited to the tripod head so that it doesn't come loose when I loosen my, uh, my, my, my pan mechanism. And I just set it on here and leveling the head once it's, once it's on is as simple as loosening this, this little handle here, a half turn, you know, and watching the little bubble level right here, get it in the center and tighten that handle a half turn back done. You know, you can tilt the thing to get it out of the way so you can see it better. It's really a piece of cake. If you have a traditional tripod that you want to put this head on that has a center column or just has a flat plate and you can't get a bowl, then my suggestion is there's a really great Acrotec leveling adapter. It's thin, it's small, it's light, 
not the cheapest thing in the world, but not terribly expensive. And it goes just between that plate or that center column and the ball head and or the, the, the fluid head. And you can just loosen a knob on that and do exactly the same thing. Just tilt it around to get level. See, the beautiful thing is once you do that simple one move level, then everything you do with this head stays level. You can readjust your composition and you can, and you can if you just want to move a little bit to the left without changing the height of your scene, all you have to do is move that one knob and all of a sudden you're, you're only panning. If you want to tilt a little bit, just get a little more sky or a little more foreground, simple as that. Uh, and one of the nice things too is that if you happen to be interested at all in, in the convergence of video and stills and using your camera for video, the fluid nature of this lets you do nice smooth pans and tilts and to track your subject when you're filming video without any of that herky-jerky motion and without worrying about going out of level. So that's why video guys love it. I fell in love with it when I was out shooting with some guys making a film and we had to share a tripod and there was no way I could ever go back to a ball head. It is just so much simpler and quicker. So hope that demystifies a few of the little different features from your traditional ball head. Uh, I've got links to all the stuff that I talk about on this video and on the original video, and that's linked as well. Thanks.